Hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Janera and today I'm going to be reviewing the new 3D blush as well as the new bronze and sculpt trio palettes from One Size Beauty. So if you're interested in seeing the application, review and swatches of these shades, then keep on watching. Alright, so I already started my face makeup off camera. I did my concealer and foundation and setting powder. So I just want to hop right into this new contour, bronzer, and blush trio. So this is the made for shade bronze and sculpt trio in the shade dark. And these are all three shades. It comes with a mirror as well. And it says that this bottom shade is supposed to be used to sculpt, to contour and shape and define. The middle shade is supposed to be used to bronze. It's supposed to be a warm glow without shimmer. And then that top shade is supposed to be used as an everyday all over bronzer. And then for this made for shade bronze and sculpt trio, they also sent me their shade deep. So I wanna show you guys this palette as well. And I'm gonna swatch all six shades for you guys in a second. This is the dark trio. And then this is the deep trio. All right, so I swatched the shades from the dark palette first and I did it in order from top to bottom. On top are the shades from the dark trio. And then on the bottom are the three shades from the deep trio. So basically to choose which trio set I wanted to go with, I just compared it to the contour and bronzer that I'm currently using. For the contour that I'm currently using, it's the Anastasia Contour Kit in the shade Tan to Deep. And this is the shade that I'm using right now. And then I just compared the shade from the top right corner to the last shade in this kit. So as you can see, the contour I'm currently using in the right corner is a lot different than the bottom shade in this palette. And then the bronzer that I'm currently using is the Sun Stalker Bronzer in the shade Mocha Mommy from Fenty Beauty. And then comparing this shade to the bronzer shade from the dark palette, I feel like these shades are very similar. But then in the deep trio, the shades are a lot different. All right, so the palette that I'm gonna be using today to bronze and sculpt is the dark trio palette. I'll be using this shade to contour for First, and I'll be using my IT Cosmetics brush number 227 to blend it out. It's an angled brush, so I think it's perfect to apply the contour. Wow, I don't think I've ever used a contour that's been this pigmented. So on the other side, I'm definitely gonna use a lighter amount. All right, so this is the contour on both sides. As you can see, it's super pigmented. For this side, I tap my brush into the contour a couple of times, just because that's how much I usually tap it into my Anastasia contour kit. But clearly, just one tap of your brush in the kit is enough. It is easy to blend out, but truly a little goes a long way with this product. And if I had known that, I probably would have used a lot less of it, but we're here now. So I'm just gonna blend this out. I used a lot less for my forehead and chin. I just like barely tapped it into the palette. So moving on to bronzer, I'll be using my Morphe M530 brush to blend it out. All right, so this is how the bronzer looks on the face. Just like the contour, the bronzer is also super pigmented, which is really nice. It's a very nice creamy formula. I didn't use that top shade. I just used the middle shade from the palette. And then let me get a little closer so that you can see both next to each other. This is the contour shade. This is the bronzer shade. Next, I wanna get into the blush. This company did send me two palettes of their 3D blush trio, so I wanna show you guys these shades. On this side is the Very Gay palette, and then on this side is the Rich Bench. <laughs> So before we get into the swatches, I just want to show you guys how cute the packaging is. I feel like a lot of thought went into designing this. I really like how there's a flap right here that just covers the cream shade and keeps it separate from the powder. And then I also really like how you have a cream shade, a powder shade, and then a shimmery shade. I don't know if you can see that well, but it is very shimmery. You'll probably see it better when I swatch it. All right, so these are the swatches for the Berry Gay palette. As you can see, this last shade is super shimmery. It's kind of like a highlighter. And then the cream shade is super pigmented. This middle powder shade is also super pigmented as well. And it's super pretty. All right, so next I'm gonna swatch the shades from the Rich Betch palette. These are the three shades from the Rich Betch palette. As you can see, it's the same formula. So this last shade has a very nice shimmer. And then this top cream shade has the most pigment. 
The middle shade also has a lot of pigment as well, but just not as much as the cream shade. Overall, I think all these shades are super pretty. So on the right side of my face, I'll start off by using this powder shade. And then on the left side, I'll start off by using the cream shade just so you can see the difference in the consistency. And then to highlight, I'll be using that last shimmer shade on each side. So I'm gonna go in with this shade first. Wow, I can already tell that this is super pigmented, so I'm gonna use super light strokes to apply it. Alright, so I completely forgot when it comes to powder blushes, I do like to use my big fluffy brush. This is the Morphe E4 and I feel like it just helped to kind of like diffuse the product. This is the Fenty 110 brush and it's a lot more dense, which is why I feel like it's perfect for the cream blushes. But definitely with the powder blush, this Morphe E4 brush is preferred. I think this shade is super pretty. Definitely pigmented, but also very pretty like once it's diffused. When I first put it on, I was like, wait, this can't be right. <laughs> All right, so for the cream blush, for the Rich Veg palette, I am gonna use the 110 brush. Alright, so this is the finish of the powder blush in the berry palette, and then this is the finish of the cream blush from the rich palette. As you can see, they're both very pigmented, just different formulas. I'll get closer so they can see that a lot better. Next, I want to use these shimmery shades to highlight, and to highlight, I'll be using my Morphe M510 brush. So I'm going to highlight the left side of my face first. This is the Rich Betch palette. And then next, I'll be using this shade from the Berry palette on the right side. I feel like you can see the shimmer a lot better on this side. Even though these shades are coming from two different palettes, I feel like the shades are very similar. So if you are looking for which shades to get, I would probably choose one or the other and not both. When I looked online, I did see a few more shades to choose from. I saw a red, a pink, and then I think two nude shades. So definitely check online first and see which shades might work best for you before choosing. Now that I'm done applying the blush, the contour, and the bronzer, I'm gonna go off camera and finish the rest of my face makeup. I'm gonna do my eyebrows, eyeliner, and mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back and this is the completed look for today. I wanna get close to show you the contour, bronzer, and blush. Overall, I think that these trio palettes are really nice. I really like the shades that they come with and they're super pigmented and then I also really like the formula for the contour and the bronzer I feel like these palettes are super pigmented as well and I really love the consistency overall I really do like these palettes I think it's really nice that with the blush trio you get three different unique shades one the cream one powder and then one shimmery shade and then I also really like how a little goes a long way with these palettes which shows me that the formula is super rich but yeah that's all I have for you guys today thank you guys for tuning in to another video if you have any questions about this 3d blush trio palette or the bronze and sculpt trio palettes please let me know and i'll get back to you as soon as i can also if you are new here welcome and please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye